Arbitech claims to be the forerunner in power carving tools. Today, we start to investigate whether that's true or not. Hey, it's Todd Wolf with Made by Wolf, and welcome to this tool review. We are actually beginning a series on Arbitech tools and reviewing them. Uh, you might think with this much gear that Arbitech sponsored this in some way, but they did not. What happened was that last month was December and that means that Christmas happened at the Wolf household. And this was a gift to myself, but it also are things that I got because they're things that I have done all in a different way before and I'm hoping that Arbortech tools are going to help me with that. So you can see here, there are a couple pieces that I have built in the past and you see those deep curves that are on those pieces. Well, those are things that I've always done in the past with a grinder and 60 grit sandpaper and then finer sandpaper moving up there in order to get the finished piece. And one of the things that that has caused whenever I did that much grinding is that there was so much dust. Look at this picture. This is of me doing a couple pieces when I was still in school. I wish I had more pictures of this room. They actually made me work in a completely separate room because of all of the dust that I was creating. And that room was just literally covered with dust. And so as I've purchased these tools, I'm looking forward to some projects that I'm going to do that involve a lot of very contoured hardwood shapes. And these, I'm hoping, are gonna make that job so much easier. There's a couple reasons for that. One is because a couple of these tools, they are not abrasive discs, they are cutting discs, which means that there will be shavings rather than dust. So that's gonna be a big help. And then also, this guy here, the power carving unit, it actually has dust collection that you can hook up to it. This powered carving unit has a sanding pad with it, but it's also made to be used with these two products, actually with all of these products. And these products, again, have cutting edges on them. And so, again, I'm hoping this is gonna make a big difference. I don't know, it could be that I'm selling some of these things on eBay after this uh, little adventure, but I don't think that I will be. I think that it's gonna be a significant improvement to the uh, production of uh, these artistic pieces that have these really heavy contours to them that require some type of shaping involved with that. So I'm beginning here in another, actually this upcoming week, I'm beginning a project where I'm gonna be making a contemporary bench that, that is made of uh, bluestone and cherry and maple. And the cherry part of it, the black elements on the end that is the, essentially the base of the bench, those black elements are stack laminated and then they're carved and that carving I'm going planning on doing with the power carving unit. Before I can do that, I gotta open these boxes up though. So over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be getting into the Arbortech line of tools and we're gonna just be going through things um, one at a time. The first one that I'm gonna be looking at is the uh, power carving unit. It is essentially, it's an angle grinder. Matter of fact, all of these units are essentially angle grinders with some type of a connection on them. On this piece, you can put the sanding pad as well as the two dust collecting ports or shaving collecting ports. Uh, you can take the sanding pad off and then you can put this piece here, which is the, what they call their turbo plane. Supposedly is very good at uh, removing uh, lots of wood quickly and safely. So you can also put this on it, which is the industrial wood carver pro kit. They call it the pro kit, but the actual wood carver is this blade here. And this blade has three cutting uh, points on it. Supposedly it's a fairly aggressive way to remove wood. Th this is another attachment. Uh, this is called their turbo shaft, and it is an actual shaft that has replaceable cutting surfaces. This allows you to go uh, deep and straight into things. Uh, I've seen people use this, and actually they have a sign uh, here on their packaging. Uh, it's used to, people use it to make signs sometimes. Uh, this is a ball gouge. This also attaches to the power carving unit. The ball gouge allows, again, deeper contouring. 
uh, that you can't get into spaces with um, either of these items. And then finally, there are a couple sanding accessories. Uh, this is the contour sander. So you have this four inch sander. You have this contour sander, which uh, is probably in the, in the realm of maybe like three inches and fairly flexible. You have this piece here, which is called the mini turbo kit. And it has essentially the same cutter that this has, except for a much smaller version with just two cutting heads on it. And it's about two inches, whereas this is four inches. And then it has these sanding accessories, again, for smaller areas. All of those things get mounted on uh, the, the power carving unit. You could also just use a grinder, is my understanding. I chose this because one of the things that I was excited about was making sure that I had dust collection because it's available at this point for, for this type of carving. And I'm not at all sure if these uh, dust collection uh, items will fit on a regular grinder. And so I decided to stick with that with getting this unit. So um, the next thing, I'm gonna skip over here at this point. The next thing is also uh, a very similar thing to all of this stuff and that is it is a cutting um, unit. You can see here that it's got a much longer shaft and it has a small cutter here on the end. And that uh, is uh, supposed to be good for getting into uh, small tight areas that you just can't get a four inch wheel in or you can't get a entire head of the grinder in because it's too small of an area. Um, uh, so this ex ex extends out from the main body of the grinder uh, and allows you to get into tighter corners. Then there is this unit, and this is a completely separate thing from these. This is a power chisel, and this essentially is a chisel uh, attached to a grinder. And somehow what's happening in here is there is a, a bump mechanism a very fine, very fast um, uh, vibration that happens that assists with the carving of the chisel through the wood. So traditionally, and actually you can see here, this is the end of a bench that I made years ago. And you can see all of those chips out of that. And traditionally, all that is done by uh, simply having a really good, very sharp chisel and pushing that through the wood. Uh, and so there's a fair amount of carving that happens in that and uh, I'm very curious whether or not this makes that easier. Anyways, this is going to be used on the upcoming uh, bluestone bench project that I'm working on because the ends of those benches, those black pieces, are going to be chip carved in terms of a texture. We'll see if this works better. This is uh, a lot of fun for me. Again, it's Christmas time and I get to play with new tools and isn't that just fun? And I get to take you along with that. So we're gonna start with reviewing this because this will be the first uh, piece that I, I use. This along with at, at least the uh, turbo plane and very possibly the industrial wood parver kit. We will review those first and then we'll just work our way through the rest of the tools over the next several weeks. So it's gonna be fun. Um, come along for the ride. Um, again, this is Todd Wolf of Made by Wolf encouraging you to have fun, just like I'm going to, when you go out there and you make something today. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, but also hit that notification bell so that you'll know when the rest of the videos from this series comes out. Also check out the channel. Again, this is Todd Wolf with Made by Wolf, encouraging you to get out there and make something today.